Sime Matofa is a leader, a former Jillaru, and an icon of women's rugby league in the modern era. Witnessing Tofa in the shimmering green of the Canberra Raiders is a symbol of NILW's new dawn. There are four new teams, there's a significant salary increase, and last week the doors were opened for a seven-week player signing period that will transform the 2023 NRLW season, which begins in July. The Tom and Bourne powerhouse led first official signings on Raiders for club's historic first year in NRLW. Simei Matofa won two World Cups with Australian Gillaroos. Tofa had a gilded 2022, which he reached three peaks in his Sport 1 calendar year. He passionately took Eels to grand final and was instrumental in Australia's World Cup victory, as well as NSW Blues' defeat of Maroons. The 2017 Dally M medal winner has been a mainstay with the Australian Gillaroos and NSW Origin teams since 2014. The Raiders announced the Topher announcement Monday along with Roosters quarterback Zahora Tamara and former Dragon Mona Lisa Solila. In the club announcement, Tofa said it was an honor to be a part of the first Raiders. It's very exciting to have an opening team that has created so many opportunities and paved the way for every young actress. The 28-year-old will now expand on his already significant legacy by forming the first team to show a rugby league path for Canberra girls and women in their own backyard. I hope we can leave a legacy that any Canberra girl who wants to play for this club can make this region proud of," she said. Currently, there are many player moments with a new group signing announcement every day. For new clubs, addition of more money to the table add to the hustle and bustle. The Sharks, Cowboys, Raiders and West's Tigers join six existing teams in a new-looking 10-team league this year. NILW players will earn at least $30,000 this season, and more than $50,000 in a historic $6 million collective bargaining agreement to compete through 2027. Last year, Tofa was outspoken that salaries needed be increased to allow NILW players become full-time athletes. Because if the code does that, nowhere could be, no what can do, she said. Look at girls coming to NRLW from the Rugby Sevens program, you can tell they are on full-time system, he said. $30,000 will still mean that most players need to find work at the peak of their NRLW careers. But this year's minimum salary is an improvement, almost double that of 2022. Last year, NRLW's top athletes made just $16,000 for the season. This year rosters will consist of 24 NRLW contracts and four development roster contracts. The first 24 must have signed the contract until 1700 on Wednesday, May 24, 2023.